All right, Aquarius, it's your turn for your reading for the month of November. I hope you all are doing well. Today's been kind of a tough day for me. I almost got an accident. Um, it was just a fender bender. Um, but I hope you guys are doing well. Um, anyways, do keep in mind, I believe <coughs> there's a full moon in Taurus. Um, I believe the 16th of November and then there is a new moon in Sagittarius sometime at the end of the month so anyways I can head out on the charger alright and we are in Scorpio season so I hope Scorpio season is going well for you all Alright, there it is. I need one more, I just realized that one more line for it. Alright. Uh, coming in to the month of November, of course, you have the King of Swords. So, my feeling, oh, the bottom of the deck, is the Ace of Pentacles. Alright, so. <clears throat> My feeling with coming into the month of uh, November, I feel like there is divine intervention, there's divine timing, there's opportunities for you, whatever that looks like, whether it's love, financial growth, expansion. Um, there. <laughs> I totally forgot I had my earphones on. Anyways. My feeling with the Ace of Pentacles is pretty much the theme of the month of November. I feel like there's a lot of divine timing. There's a lot of divine, maybe healing in some aspects. Maybe you're looking for a new path to go on, a new door, adventure to go on. Um, but you're coming in with a King of Swords. So I feel like you are in your element despite being Scorpio season in the month of November. So, and then we're coming into near, I believe, Sagittarius after school period. Yeah. So, um, I feel like those two might hand in hand. Maybe something about the new moon and Sagittarius and, you know, King of Swords. But I feel like, Aquarius, this has to do with your truth. This has to do with you know, taking everything you can in to form. You know, temperance is a card of healing. It is part of alchemist. It's about creating what you have. And I feel like, therefore, you create what you have so you can have the strength to move forward. So you can fully be happy and satisfied and content. Um, I feel like there's a need to walk away from something. Uh, not necessarily a relationship, maybe, maybe the idea of what something isn't working for you when it comes to, you know, how you're being valued or how you're being treated, or in some way there could be some toxicity going on, uh, that you really need to clear the pathway so you can get on to the next thing, because I feel like this could be about letting go of something, walking away, it could also be you know, having a clear picture of things that aren't working in your life. Um, for some of you, it could be, you know, relationships. It could be uh, things that you're potentially holding on to that you need to cut through. So I feel like you really need to muster up the strength to find the happiness for yourself. Whether it's in a relationship or it's simply carrying on the strength. Um, you know, you could be dealing with a Leo or a Sagittarius or another air sign. But I think it's about embodying the strength card, the temperance card. Because I feel like you're going to, some of you have been going through a lot of things when it comes to your truth be spoken. Maybe there's some truths that need to be spoken. Maybe there's lies about something within a relationship or something that you're seeking within a relationship that needs to be 
let go or there's just something that you need to walk away from. Um, I do see the Five of Swords. And that's about cutting through the bullshit. It's cutting through things that aren't working within relationships. And I feel like there, there's this clear understanding of what you need to process, what you need to heal from. Uh, I also see the Ace of Cups in reverse. So it could be something that you're not seeing that you're unclear about when it comes to relationship and it's not necessarily the relationship is toxic it could be something that just clears away maybe it's karmic ties maybe it's just something within the past that you're holding on and bringing into a new relationship like you want this new relationship but there's still a lot of clutter. There's still a lot of things you need to let go. Maybe it's an idea of the past. Maybe it's the way you've always done things. And it's about, you know, new relationships, new adventures. And so that you can fully process this new beginning. And I think it's about uncovering the truth that lies within you. You being an Aquarius of what's not working within relationships. How can we move forward and expand on something new? And I think some of you, you could be, you know, dealing with a third party situation or people or family or situations where they're not really bringing you happiness. They're not really bringing growth, expansion in your life. And I feel like you guys get in these predicaments where maybe you're dealing with people, outsiders, naysayers, yet sayers who seem to be toxic for you, whether it's family dynamic, whether it's you carrying on this energy where you're not letting go of something or something's not letting go and you're being, maybe be feeling betrayed, maybe you feel let down by people that are starting to bring conflict within your life. And I feel like for some Aquarius, you know, you know, they're probably one of the realest people you could probably meet. But I do feel like sometimes they can get in their head. Sometimes they're dealing with so much all at once. And they've been dealing with a lot. You know, we have Uranus and uh, Taurus, which you're ruled by Uranus. So there's a lot of shakeups, I think, in relationship-wise and in getting into yourself. And, you know, having the clarity to move forward. And to let go of something that's not working, whether it's a relationship, whether there's toxicity within family dynamics. And being clear and honest with yourself, what's not working and what needs to be, you know, come into fruition if it's a new beginning, a new project, a new um, situation. But I feel like you're having the conflict within yourself with other people on how to expand. And I just feel like you have to be truthful. And I think this month, you know, especially with Scorpio season, it's about being real. It's be about being authentic with yourself. Whether there's, you know, maybe lies and deceptions about relationships or about something that you've been holding on within yourself that really needs to let go and I feel like there's a lot of forgiveness on your part a lot of going within especially with the three of swords maybe there's unforgiveness maybe there's something that is still weighing you down when it deals with maybe past people in conflict and trying to feel like maybe you want to be recognized by people and you don't want to start fights or drama or conflict but I feel like it's about forgiving yourself, whether these past people hurt you or something within the past dynamic, uh, you know, hurts you still. Maybe. Um, I also feel like there could be someone that possibly in a relationship dynamic, friendship, co-worker, um, someone maybe cut you out and it was toxic. But I just feel like this month is about speaking your truth. Because I feel like once you speak your truth, that brings on the healing. And then you can be empowered. And then you can find your happiness. And then you can walk away from a toxic situation or, you know, a work situation.
situation, a family situation, but you have to be willing to put in the effort to cut through things, to build a solid foundation, whether it's a new romance or new love. Um, you have to be real with yourself to clear away this so a new beginning can happen, whether that's getting in new situations um, and, you know, end the conflict with yourself, end the conflict with people in these close, uh, nitty-gritty relationships and really expand on something broader than what you're seeing clearly. Um, so hope that resonates with one of you out there. Bye-bye.